Hi, little travelers. I'm Bit Bit, and I'm so excited you joined me today on Build Little Brains. Would you like to go and explore somewhere new with me? Awesome! Let's go! Baby, let's travel, travel, travel. Baby, let's travel, there's lots to see. Baby, let's travel, travel, travel. Baby, let's travel, what fun it will be. When you want to go, raise your hands. We will make this strip so grand. That's not all that we will do. We will learn and explore too. Baby, let's travel, travel, travel. Baby, let's travel, there's lots to see. Baby, let's travel, travel, travel. Baby, let's travel, come along with me. Now we need to find out which country we will be learning about today. Zippy the giraffe left us a clue in the front zipper of my suitcase. On the count of three, let's yell, open that zipper. And when we count to three, let's pat a table or our legs as we count. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Open that zipper. <laughs> what is in here? It's a flag. How cool. And it's green, white, and red. I wonder what country this represents. Let's ask Zippy. Do you want to know what Zippy told me? He said it's the Italian flag. So if our clue was the Italian flag, which country do you think we'll be learning about? I know, Italy. Italian flag behind me? So cool! What shape is the Italian flag? That's right, a rectangle. The Italian flag is one big rectangle with three smaller rectangles on the inside. One, two, three. What color is the rectangle on your left? Yes, green. And what color is the rectangle in the center? White, fantastic. And what color is the rectangle on your right? Red, woohoo! What's that, Zippy? <laughs> Oh, wow! Zippy just told me that he was nice enough to pack my suitcase with things that we might need to travel to Italy. Thank you, Zippy! That was so nice of you! Do you want to see what's inside of my suitcase? You know the drill. On the count of three, yell, open that zipper! One... Two, three, open that zipper. What is in here? A toothbrush. Will we need a toothbrush when we travel to Italy? You bet we will. We will still have to brush our teeth morning and night, even when we're on a trip. Good thinking, Zippy. What else is in here? What is this? I know. 
It's a pillow for our necks. We can wear this on the airplane so our neck won't get sore if we fall asleep. Oh, it's so soft. I could go to sleep right now. <laughs> What else is in here? <laughs> tennis shoes! These will be nice to have because we will probably be doing lots of walking to see statues, fountains, and buildings. And this is perfect. I have two shoes and I also have two feet. One, two, woo! One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up six. Seven, eight, wave them straight. Nine, ten, do it again. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up six. Seven, Eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, that's the end. <laughs> oh no! There's not anything left in my suitcase. Zippy forgot something very important. Ay, 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 ay! If I want to go and travel to a different country than where I live, I will have to show them my passport, but it's not in here. My passport has some very important information on it, like my name, my birthday, and even a picture of me. Hmm. Oh, where, oh, where did my passport go? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? I've looked up and down and all around. Would it be in the refrigerator? <laughs> no, that's silly. Food and drinks go in the refrigerator, not a passport. Hmm, would it be at the park? No, it wouldn't be at the park. We go to play at the park. We don't keep our passport at the park. Let's see. Would it be in a purse? Yes! That would be a really good place for a passport. Let me get my purse. Here it is. Let's see if my passport's inside. It is! Oh, woo! We found my passport. Thank you so much for helping me. We better put it back in my purse so we'll be able to find it again. When I put it in my purse, let's say in, 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 in. Ready? In, 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 in. Perfect. In Italy, the language they speak is called Italian. Let's learn to greet somebody in Italian. To say hi, you say ciao, ciao, ciao. Can you say ciao? That's right, I'm proud of you. And guess what? To say goodbye in Italian, it is the same thing. Ciao. So ciao is for hello and goodbye. That's easy to remember because it's the same. Let's say ciao together in Italian. Ready? Ciao! Fantastic! Do you want to help me make some Italian food out of Play-Doh? Great! What is something they eat in Italy that's one of my 
favorite meals? Hmm. Spaghetti! We're going to need something to put the spaghetti noodles on after we make them. What could we use? A plate! Here's a plate. Now, we'll take the yellow Play-Doh and press it down to make it nice and flat. See, this is flat. What is this? Yes, a rolling pin. Now we will take the rolling pin and roll it over the dough to make it nice and smooth. This is the way we roll the dough, roll the dough, roll the dough. This is the way we roll the dough when making our spaghetti. This is the way we roll the dough, roll the dough, roll the dough. This is the way we roll the dough when making our spaghetti. Now we will take a knife and cut out our noodles just like this. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, 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 cut. Let's do it again. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, 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 cut. Wow, this is long and skinny. Can you help me count the noodles as I put them on my plate? Great. One, two, three. Four, five. Now it's time for some marinara sauce. Let's stir it in. Stir, 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 stir. What goes really well with spaghetti noodles? I know, meatballs. What color are meatballs? That's right. Brown! Let's take the brown Play-Doh and roll the dough into balls. This is the way we roll meatballs, roll meatballs, roll meatballs. This is the way we roll meatballs when making our spaghetti. Oh wow! There's our first meatball. Let's put it on our plate. Now we need to make our second meatball. This is the way we roll meatballs, roll meatballs, roll meatballs. This is the way we roll meatballs when making our spaghetti. Perfect! Let's put our second meatball on the plate. First meatball, second meatball. We're almost ready to eat. Our last finishing touch is a little cheese. I have a cheese shaker right here. Can you pretend at home to hold a cheese shaker in your hand and when we sprinkle it on, say, shake, 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 shake? Ready? Here we go. Shake, 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 shake. Hmm, I like a little more cheese than that. Let's put a little bit more on. Here we go. Shake, 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 shake. Perfect. Now all we have to do is set the table. What is this? A fork, outstanding. What is this? A knife, you got it. And this one? Yes, a spoon. Finally, what is this? A napkin, awesome job. Now we need to figure out where everything goes on the table. Let's start with our plate. Does your plate go here? That would be hard to reach your food all the way up there. Hmm, does your plate go here? <laughs> That's silly, I've never seen a plate all the way off to the side like that. Does your plate go here? Yes, your plate goes right in front of the person. Then you take the napkin and put it to the side of the plate. Now we're going to learn an easy trick to help us remember where to put the silverware on the table. We put the silverware in alphabetical order from the left to the right of the plate. What letter does fork start with? F, ork, 
F orc. F hooray! What letter does knife start with? Knife. This one's a little tricky because the K is silent. Knife. What letter does spoon start with? Spoon. Spoon. S. Outstanding. Now we will sing our ABCs to figure out where our silverware goes on the table. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? He did it! By singing our ABCs, we knew that F for fork came first, K for knife came second, and S for spoon came third. Thank you for helping me! <coughs> what was that noise? <coughs> that must be my tummy rumbling! I'm hungry, what shall I eat? Look, this plate is really neat. Meatball, spaghetti sauce, and a little cheese. This plate will be so yummy. I'm hungry, what shall I eat? Look, this plate is really neat. Meatball, spaghetti sauce, and a little cheese. This plate will be so yummy. Now that we have finished dinner, it's time for dessert. A popular dessert in Italy is ice cream. Do you like ice cream? I really like ice cream. That reminds me of one of my favorite chants. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> Can you say it with me? Here we go. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream, yes! In Italian, they call ice cream gelato. Gelato. Can you say it with me? Gelato. Good job! Oh, look! Here is a gelato cart. Let's get some ice cream. Oh, wow. Look at all the options we have. We have some cones, a scoop, ice cream, and the toppings. What color is this? Yellow, correct. What kind of ice cream is yellow? Vanilla, yes, yes. What color is this? Pink, you are so smart. What kind of ice cream is pink? Hmm, strawberry ice cream is pink. What color is this? Brown, awesome. What kind of ice cream is brown? You got it, chocolate. And what color is this? Green, that's right. What kind of ice cream is green? I know, mint chocolate chip is green. <laughs> Good job. What kind of ice cream cone should we make? Hmm, I have an idea. Why don't we make an ice cream cone with one of each flavor? That would be so cool. <laughs> Get it? It's cool because ice cream's frozen? <laughs> okay, can you help me 
say the flavor of each scoop as I put it on the cone? You can? Thank you! Vanilla! Strawberry! Chocolate! Mint chocolate chip! Whoa! That's a tall ice cream cone! Should we put a topping on top of my tall ice cream cone? Why not? What color is this? Red! That's right! What kind of topping would be red? Yes, a cherry sauce would be red. What color is this? White! What kind of topping would be white? Whipped cream! You got it! What color is this? Orange! Hmm, I bet an orange sauce would be orange. What kind of topping should we put on my ice cream cone? Cherry would be good. Let's do cherry. This is going to taste so yummy. It would be nice if I called my friend and asked her if she would like an ice cream cone. Let's call her and ask. Hello? Hi, Caters. It's Bit Bit. Would you like some ice cream? I would love some ice cream. What kind would you like? Hmm, chocolate with whipped cream topping, please? You got it. That is so nice of you. Thank you so much. I love ice cream. You are very welcome. Do you know how to say goodbye in Italian? Ciao? Yes! Ciao! Ciao! Okay, so we'll take a cone, put one scoop of chocolate on it, and top it off with some whipped cream. Perfect! Let's put this ice cream cone by my ice cream cone. What are the sizes of these ice cream cones? If my cone is tall, what size is this cone? Yes, it's short. Tall, short. Great, let's go give this to my friend. This is a map of the entire world. Europe is in green. Italy is a country in Europe and it is right here. Taking a closer look, Italy is the green country. <laughs> it is shaped like a boot. Italy is a peninsula because it is a piece of land surrounded by water on three sides. One, two, three. One city we could go to in Italy is Venice. The neat thing about Venice is that they have streets made out of water called canals, and they use small boats called gondolas to get around the city. Let's pretend this tub is a canal and pour some water into it. Ready? Pour, 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 pour! That's great! Oh, and we can use this boat as a gondola. Row, row, row your boat gently down the street. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <laughs> that was fun. Let's do it again. Row, row, row your boat gently down the street. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. 
Another city we could go to in Italy is Pisa. In Pisa, there's a famous building called the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It is called that because when they were building it, the ground was soft, causing the tower to lean. <laughs> you know what would be fun? Let's use these blocks and stack them up until they lean like the Tower of Pisa. As I stack them, let's count out loud. And if they fall over, yell, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. It's getting really shaky. helping me build the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Finally, we are going to sing and tap dance without any musical instruments. This is called a cappella. Can you say it with me? A cappella. Again. A cappella. Very good. And guess what? A cappella actually comes from an Italian word. Now, on the bottom of my tap shoes, there are metal pieces under the toes and the heels so you can hear every sound I make. See, toes, heels. If you're ready to sing and dance a cappella without any instruments with me, yell, yippee! Yippee! Let's go! Little traveler, little traveler, what do you do? I explore, I explore the world with you. Little traveler, little traveler, where do you go? Everywhere, everywhere, see our next show. Bye! Ciao!